ago I had a request to make a video about how to transition from being a print designer to being a web designer. I did a few interaction design papers at university but mostly when I was studying I was focused on the print side of graphic design. In my first job outside of university I was doing print design but the more I thought about it the more I wanted to get into designing websites. I felt like that was where the future of the industry was and I'd been designing my own Tumblr themes and a little website for my apparel company and I decided that I wanted to try and do that as my job. And luckily that's what I was able to do. These days I consider myself mostly web designer though I do still do a little bit of print work which is good because I do still enjoy that every now and then. It's just that I enjoy the digital side more so, if that makes sense. Anyway, that was a really long intro. So if you are a graphic designer who is currently doing more print based work and are looking to make the switch, then here is some advice. First off, I actually think there are a lot of similarities between print and web design and I might be biased, but I think that coming from a print background gives you a really good foundation for web design because hopefully you'll have a strong handle on things like typography and negative space, which is all really important in web design as well. I would definitely recommend learning a bit of HTML and CSS if you're wanting to get into designing websites. There is a common misconception that being a web designer means you also build the website that you design, but they're actually two separate jobs. Being a designer is one thing and being a front-end developer is another, and some people are a hybrid of both, which is awesome for them, but I personally don't think it's a bad thing to focus on doing one or the other because, like I said, they are different jobs and different skill sets. However, I think it is really important for a web designer to understand the basics of code so that when you're designing a website, you sort of have in your mind an idea of how it's going to be built and what the limitations are for building it. And that way you're going to be able to work much better with your developer and design a site that's not going to take forever to build. Coding websites is not something I particularly enjoy doing, but I can do it. I've coded my blog myself and my linernotekids.com website myself, but it takes me a lot longer than it would take a professional to do it, if that makes sense. But I am wanting to learn more about coding because I think it's really important and it opens up your mind and gives you some ideas of possibilities of what you can do. So what I'm saying is you don't have to be able to do both perfectly, it's alright to focus on one. Some jobs will require you to be able to do both and that's okay because I just know that that's not the job for me. I want to be able to focus more on the design side. There's loads of courses online for learning this stuff. Jessica Heesh and her partner have an awesome website called Don't Fear the Internet where they have a bunch of tutorials and I think that'll be a great place to start if you're wanting to learn some code so I'll leave a link to that down below. When you move from print to digital design there's a bunch more different things you have to think of when it comes to a project. With print you have to think about what stock you'll use, how it's going to be printed, and what it will cost, things like that. And with web you have to think about how it'll be built, optimizing your images so that the page loads faster, and things like how your design is going to look across multiple different devices. With both types of design though you have to think about the person who's going to be looking at or using your design in the end. Something cool about web design that you can't really do with print is that you can measure the user interaction and get an idea of how successful your design is from looking at the analytics data. I think that's one of the things that I love most about web design actually, that a lot of your design decisions are actually driven by or at least informed by data. So you can design something and put it out there and see how the users interact with it and then make little tweaks as you need. And it's not so easy to do that with print, it's really expensive to reprint something after you've already designed and printed it. Getting used to that data and analytical side of things can take a bit of getting used to when you're switching from print to web design, but I think it's a lot more fun personally. Maybe I'm just a nerd. Just like with a lot of print design, web design is all about hierarchy and taking the user on a journey through the information that you've got to show them. So if you have been wanting to make the switch, then I say don't be scared of it, give it a go. Be prepared for it to feel a lot more fast paced than print design just because you can iterate faster when you're building websites and the web moves very fast. It will take time to find the way that best works for you. I think a lot of new to web designers, if that makes sense, make the mistake of diving straight into the visuals without wireframing first, which means you can often end up with a less than ideal design and you might accidentally copy something you've seen before. I don't know, so get used to wireframing and that sort of way of working. I am planning on doing a video all about wireframing and my web design process, so keep your eyes peeled for that. I think that's all I have to say today. This has probably been a very long video. I can definitely recommend making the switch from print to web design. It's worked out great for me. I absolutely love it. And you don't have to pick just one or the other either. I still do a bit of both in my job, which is cool. I hope you found this video useful. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because there will be lots more design videos coming your way in the near future. And I will see you next time. Bye.